Very, very clean. Oh yeah, she's beautiful. I love it. What's up guys, coming to you from the Chesapeake Bay area in Maryland and I just toured an awesome boat that you've probably never heard of. It's called a Mallow 39 and I'm really excited to bring this tour for you today. If you like Halberg Rossi and you like Swedish Blue Water Cruisers for a pretty good price, this one's for you. Quickly before we get to the tour, just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos and you haven't already. It helps us a lot so thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. So I want to give you guys a shot of the underwater configuration. We do have a fin keel with a skeg hung rudder again. Almost like a Halberg Rossi. And a bow thruster. Can't go wrong with that. All right guys, I just stepped aboard and we've got this aft deck right here, a sugar scoop transom with these steps to the side here, pretty nice. And looking forward, oh yeah, I already love that cockpit configuration. Looks very spacious, T-shaped cockpit, always like that when you have a central helm like this so you can step around the helm easily. And just generally pretty roomy, however, nice and safe. We've got a full enclosure, so this can be a northern boat. Protected from the weather, absolutely love it. This is a beautiful, beautiful cockpit. We've got four winches, two on each side, port and starboard. Engine controls right there. Got some instruments at the helm. Let's go ahead. Hop on in the cockpit. We got some more instruments right here, wash down. These right here pop up. If you want a little bit more, I don't want to call it counter space, but I guess space to put things that's not exactly on the cockpit sole. Turning around, we got a nice big aft lazarette with a propane locker to starboard right there. Standing at the helm, we've got good visibility forward and again just beautiful protection all around. I love this arch right here. That's going to be, I believe, yep, that's going to be where the main is sheeted to right there. So that keeps the main sheet out of the cockpit and the cockpit nice and clean like this. Absolutely love it. And we've got more instruments up there. The teak just absolutely beautiful in the cockpit right here. Looks awesome. Big attachment points for safety lines. We've got another locker to starboard right here. Big, big locker. And looking forward, here's our companionway. We've got big spaces right here. Not really utilized for much right now, but it could be a good place to put things while you're underway. Kind of like the Halberg Rossi's, we have a little half windshield right here, a little half hard dodger. That provides a little bit of protection even with the bimini and everything down. And having that be glass, it's gonna provide better visibility than if it was all vinyl like that. Guys, I wanna stress like how awesome and protected this cockpit is. I mean, it's just, a beautiful layout, it's just big enough to be comfortable, but small enough to be safe, protected enough to be comfortable as well. I just, I love it. I mean, I could imagine spending a passage right here with good visibility all around, full protection. 
I don't know how many times I can say I love it, but I love it. All right, guys, I know you probably want me to head down below, but, but we've got to go forward first, as per usual. And I kind of got distracted going into the cockpit because I entered through the transom, and it's just so easy to get into the cockpit from the transom, so. Let's go ahead and go forward. Now with the enclosure open, obviously it'd be easier to go forward. But right now, that wasn't too bad. We've got a full teak deck. Looks to be in generally pretty good shape. Handholds on the coach roof. Nice high stainless steel lifelines. Massive oversized aluminum cleats right here. Genoa track going down most of the side deck here. Like I said, nice, wide, safe side deck going forward. Very, very clean, clean looking deck. Just not, not a crazy amount going on. And you know, I like that. You guys know I like a clean four deck. So very, very nice. And we do have door aid vents for ventilation, as well as opening hatches and ports. Continuing forward. Got a beautiful four deck right here. Lots of space for activities, chain locker, anchor roller, and a single furling head sail. Nice big chain locker. And actually, so, this is a double bow roller, even though it doesn't look like it. So there is a smaller bow roller for an accessory anchor right here. And then below that, you've got your main anchor that goes through the bow right there. Really cool. I like that a lot. And looking aft. Just a really, really pretty boat. She's got those Swedish lines and then more attachment points for jack lines, safety lines. Looks like we got a life raft on deck as well. Moving aft. I'm gonna go ahead and look up the mast. Double spreader, mast head rig. We've got a radar up there. inboard shrouds easy to get around obviously the sails are down because she's on the hard again nice clean decks but with a good amount of ventilation as well good balance continuing aft guys I can't stress how much I like this cockpit enclosure now this is an aft cockpit boat, and you guys know I like center cockpits, but man, for an aft cockpit boat, I would highly, highly consider owning this. This is a beautiful, beautiful cockpit layout and setup. I like it. You guys saw it earlier, so we're just gonna continue. All right guys, I think it's time to check out down below. I don't think that I'll be disappointed. Oh yeah. She's beautiful. I love it. There it is again. <laughs> again, a beautiful, beautiful interior reminiscent of a Halbert Grassi, but this is not a Halbert Grassi. Wow. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head all the way forward and then move aft from there. All right, guys, so in the forward section right here, we've got a big, big forward cabin. It is a V-berth, however, it's big. And we've got lots of room in here. It's a very comfortable cabin. We got storage all around. To port right here, we've got hanging lockers, lots of closed storage, 
we are on the hard so our sails are stored right here and then below the berth we've got a bench for sitting down and taking your shoes or socks off or what have you and then to starboard we've got even more storage so just a beautiful forward cabin great for two people and all their clothes and all their stuff lots of room moving aft we've got looks to be our compression post right here and our main settee in the main salon everything is just in beautiful like beautiful condition I can't get over it starboard side got a nice long settee there that can also double as a sea berth pilot berth guys just everywhere you look there's storage above and behind the settees below the settees below the cabin sole let's go ahead and see guys bone dry bilge that's what I like to see it's a very dry boat continuing aft guys we've got this post right here to hold on to in a rough seaway forward-facing nav station to the starboard here everything you need right there instruments distribution panel again for a boat like this I would put a camera on the mast and have the camera down here just so you can see forward while you're at the nav station that would be nice to the aft of that nav station right here we've got a nice big full wet head everything everything designed to get wet really nice lots of storage again how many times can I say I love it in storage during this boat tour and to port we've got a nice modest sized galley right here everything you need nothing you don't cold storage gimbaled stove sink more storage and then to the aft of that galley we've got our second cabin our aft cabin back here hanging locker to port and we've got a nice big double double berth back here very nice and a mirror as well and last but not least this wouldn't be learning the lines boat tour if we didn't take a quick look at the engine and the engine access it's a little tight down there do have to admit but you do have the access that you need and it's right here under the steps nice easy access so that's where your engine is you also do have access panels on the sides as well so not bad all right guys it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern of this mallow 39.
guys, that boat was awesome. I mean, I've always been a fan of Halber Grassi, and to be honest, before this, I had never heard of the Malo 39, but I was blown away by that boat. And again, I'm not normally in aft cockpits, but that cockpit was awesome. It was just very well laid out and had so much protection. It was the perfect size, felt very safe, and just a really good design. Down below, again, beautiful design, perfect setup for a couple or a small family, like our small family would be awesome on it. I'm gonna be a little jealous of whoever eventually purchases this boat. And it was just an outstandingly beautifully built Swedish boat. From deck down to keel, you could tell it was quality. Obviously, love the looks of the teak deck. It is gonna be a little bit more work, but those teak decks are pretty sweet. I also really liked that massive forward cabin a really big aft cabin as well and the single big head along with the fact that there was just storage everywhere on this boat you had a true forward facing nav station a nice sized galley and everything was just in amazing condition i mean it's it's ready to go what else is there to say i think this is a gem of a boat i think the next owner is really gonna love her and as with all of these videos the yacht broker information as well as the current asking price is going to be in the description below if you're interested in potentially purchasing this vessel or just want some more information that's gonna be it for this video guys please leave a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video see you guys i've got it right and i got it wrong but I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go